the ambassador from the Federal Republic of Ethiopia. Dari tu licik dan suka pun. Seja bem-vindo, seu embaixador. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. Jadi kita cuba berapa kali lagi. Madam. 
Chief of Protocol, may I introduce the Ambassador from the Republic of Sudan? Sir Ambassador, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Your Excellency may invite you to sign it. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Benigno S. Aquino III. Good morning, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen. I have the honor to present this morning the following eight ambassadors designate who will present their credentials to His Excellency Benigno S. Aquino III, President of the Philippines. Her Excellency Amina Pardi. 
Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary, Republic of Suriname. His Excellency, the Baba Abdeta, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary, Federal Republic of Ethiopia. His Excellency Jacob Diki Kate, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary Republic of Botswana. His Excellency Joaquin Alberto de Sousa Moreira de Lemos, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary, Portuguese Republic. His Excellency Abdil Khalid Abdel Gadir Shukri, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary, Republic of Sudan. His Excellency Milj Keweche Banda, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary Republic of Zambia. His Excellency, Alea Tawa Tuitilova, Dr. Kilifoti E. Tewati, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary, Independent State of Samoa.
His Excellency Egidius Melunas, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotential, Republic of Lithuania. Excellencies, may bid you all good morning. This is a welcome opportunity to meet all of you. Today we renew the ties of cooperation and friendship between our respective nations. I look forward to strengthening our commitment to engage one another in a positive manner. The Philippines is entering another year in steady pursuit of the mission we collectively embarked on three and a half years ago. That mission is to strive to put an end to the vicious cycle of corruption and negativism and to focus our resources and efforts in creating a true regime of opportunities for the Filipino people. Part of this agenda is to foster beneficial and meaningful relations with nations of goodwill. I believe this is fundamental in building a Philippines and a community of nations where no one is left behind. We have already witnessed the fruits of reform. In facing the many challenges that the previous year brought us, our collective capability as a nation was bolstered by the fundamental change in the attitude of our people a change that has been taking place since 2010. It is a transformation that has made cynicism and apathy unacceptable, which in turn has empowered our people to make cooperation and positive engagement the norm rather than an exception. Having proven that we can face challenge upon challenge as a people, we look to this year not only with a renewed vigor and optimism, but with a strengthened sense of solidarity among Filipinos and between Filipinos and the wider community of nations. We intend to build on this by working hand in hand with, our, with your respective nations in advancing a rules-based global order, by addressing the threats of climate change as one global community, and by promoting greater understanding and stability in our respective regions. Let us do so not only through traditional partnerships, but also by enhancing cooperation in areas of shared interest and by deepening our engagements through more people-to-people -people exchanges. I am confident that this will redound to the growth and development of all our peoples. As you begin your respective tours of duty, it is my hope that you will also find the time to experience the warmth of the Filipino people and to see for yourselves that our country works and that indeed it is more fun in the Philippines. Thank you and good day. <laughs> 